Hi guys, happy Thursday and a celebration to all of those mamas who are done homeschooling today like myself. Um, we are off to a good weekend if you are one of us mamas. But today I wanted to discuss something that, that um, I've done a lot of research on over the years. I meet with hundreds of people over the years and one of the main things we discuss are what are the main qualities you're looking for in a partner? And while men and women have different answers and place stronger emphasis in different areas, I wanted to discuss a few of the things that are high up on their list for both men and both women. Um, the first thing I, I hear is a good communicator, and, and I am a firm believer in this. I mean, communication is, is key to any good relationship, and none of us are mind readers. So, a good commuter is somebody who, communicator is somebody who listens, but also talks and shares their feelings. They don't dominate the conversation. They care about their partner's thoughts and ideas. And once you get into a relationship with somebody, you don't want to be scared to get deep with them. If you're not able to get deep, then obviously you have a problem sharing information and trusting that person. So if you're scared to get deep, that's, a, that's another set of issues. When I talk about getting deep, I'm talking about goals and dreams that you have. These are really important things to talk about with a partner because if you guys are not aligned here, then there's going to be some issues down the road. Um, values, things that are important to you, especially if you guys are planning on potentially starting a family together, it's really important to know what your values and morals are. Fears, things that you guys are scared about. Everybody has fears and it's healthy to talk about that. And if you cannot talk about that with your partner, then that's also a big red flag. Guidelines and expectations for your relationship. Um, this is really important because if you don't talk about this, once again, you can't read that person's mind. So you need to be firm and you need to talk about, hey, this is what I expect out of this relationship. Moving forward, these are the guidelines that I'd like to see. And um, basically, uh, you know, you, you can't expect your partner to read your mind. So it's important to not play games and let them know what you are thinking. Also, a good sense of humor. This is one of the main things I hear from both men and women coming to me looking for a partner. Um, my, my thing here is life is too short to always be so uptight and be serious all the time. And if you are not able to let your hair down, especially after a long day's work and have fun with a partner, then this probably isn't the right partner for you. Um, Enjoy playful banter, be able to flirt, tease, have fun. Women are super attracted to guys who are witty and likewise, I hear a lot of men who are attracted to witty women as well. Financial stability, this is another one that I hear from both men and women coming to me looking for a potential partner. People do not wanna pick up their partner's um, financial burdens and baggage and they want to have a clean slate when they're getting into a relationship. I understand that not everybody's going to be completely perfect when getting into a relationship financially, but they need to be aware of areas that they can improve upon and be able to not be scared to ask for advice, maybe if their partner's more um, financially stable or responsible than them. And they need to be able to want to change and grow with their partner, especially if they understand that's important to him or her. And you need to be able to stick to a budget, and that's important to a lot of men and women who come to me. They want somebody who is not only financially stable, but knows how to live within a budget, stick to that budget, and live within their means, but also save money to be able to do fun things together. If you're not living within your means and you're spending all of your money, then you're not going to be able to save to enjoy some really great things later on in life, like special vacations um, and special dinners, etc. People want to be able to trust their partner with, uh, obviously with finances, that you can share a bank account down the road, that you can make good financial decisions that are going to be best for your family. And of course, attraction. So I hear this one from both men and women. Um, typically, this is a little bit more important to men when they give me their list of things they're looking for than to women. However, women definitely want someone they're attracted to as well. Women just place emphasis on other things like stability and security 
sometimes over attraction. It definitely depends on the person though. So everybody has somebody that's uh, different as far as beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So no two people have the same person they're attracted to. There could be certain factors like height, body type, eyes, teeth, hair, um, whatever it is, everybody has certain qualities they're looking for. And I would say one of the main things is, um, you know, I'm attracted to somebody like myself. So if, if this person is really health conscious, takes good care of their body, then typically they're gonna want somebody who's like-minded there. Um, with that being said, beauty is also in the inside. So I would say most of my clients tell me that, you know, I don't care how good looking this person is on the outside, if they're not um, a good person on the inside, then, then they're not going to be attractive to me when I get to know them. So when I talk about attraction and beauty on the inside, I'm gonna kind of group some of these things together. Um, honesty. Honesty is one of the main things I hear from people coming to work with me as far as a quality they want in a partner. Um, if you don't have a trust in, trust in your relationship, then you just don't have anything. And once your trust is broken, it's extremely hard to repair. It is doable, but it takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, and it takes a lot of time to heal from those things. Um, also, my clients, both the men and women, want somebody that is faithful. Um, a lot of people have been cheated on and it hurts and they don't want to go through that again. So um, the men and women that I work with are looking for people who are also looking for a committed, serious, monogamous, long-term relationship and they trust that this person will have integrity. And stability, emotional stability, stability in general is something that both the men and the women I work with are definitely looking for. Um, I would say that a common theme is I don't want somebody who needs me, I want somebody who wants me. I want somebody who has everything they have, they, they want in life and they're happy with their life. They're just looking for someone to share it with. So they're already whole as a person. They're wanting somebody to compliment them and essentially be an equal. Um, nobody who's needy, nobody who's codependent. Um, on the flip side of that, they don't want somebody who's overly, depend, overly independent and won't mold and really become an equal and uh, form a life together. And they also want a person who is consistent and predictable, someone who will make good decisions in their life, um, somebody who doesn't need to question their partner for every kind of decision they make, and they're just able to trust that this person's going to make a good decision on their own and, and for what's best with the partnership and eventually for the family. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. It looks like the weather is starting to um, be warm and a little bit more spring-like. And I think that'll help us all um, get outside and enjoy some, some of the beauty that we're able to get from going on walks and um, getting out of our homes. So once again, have a wonderful Thursday. If you are interested in learning more about Midwest Matchmaking, our matchmaking service or our coaching memberships, please reach out to me. Courtney at MidwestMatchmaking.com or visit our website at MidwestMatchmaking.com for more information.